These are the four things that will help you win Kraken Slam, and those are dodging, awareness, movement, and grabbing. By standing on the edge of a tile and jumping right before the tentacle slams the floor, you'll be able to dodge the attack. You'll need to stand on the opposite end from the tentacle that's about to activate. As soon as you see the tentacle pull back, that's when you jump, and by the time you land, the tentacle will have done its attack. You could even jump a second early and the tentacle won't hit you. I highly recommend you practice a strat as much as you can. At the start of the game, go to the outer edges. It doesn't matter what zone, they're all basically laid out the same. You then crack one tile and try to dodge while one tentacle is facing you. Just keep doing that over and over again. And once you feel like you've gotten the hang of one tentacle, break another tile that's next to you and try to dodge while two tentacles are facing you. If you stay on the edges, this is the maximum amount of tentacles that will face you. They have two patterns, offset and synchronized. Offset is where one tentacle will go for the smack while the other waits and then it goes next. This is the most common pattern. Once you're done dodging one, quickly get ready to jump because you only have two seconds till it slams. And synchronized is where two tentacles will will slam down on the tile at the same time. Do note, only two tentacles will slam at the same time, it will never be three. If you master dodging, you'll be able to jump and avoid tentacles no matter where you are. Though if you're in the center, you could potentially face three tentacles. It's definitely not recommended that you try and dodge them. While it is possible to do so, it becomes too tricky to dodge them. If you make one wrong move, you'll be flipped sunny side up. In general, just practice with one tentacle facing you, then once you feel comfortable, amp it up to two tentacles, and really just remember to jump when you see it pull back slightly, and if you do that, you will never get hit by a tentacle again. If you master this, you can crack a tile and most people will run away and just not approach you. People do not want to get on a tile that has a tentacle facing them and that has somebody on it as well, so you could potentially have a tile all to yourself. While jumping and staying stationary is a great strat to do, especially in your endgame, it shouldn't be the only thing you do. Mixing it up with some running will minimize your chance of dying due to a mistimed jump. Running around in a loop makes it almost impossible to be hit by the tentacles, but always be on the lookout for a possible escape route, and I recommend going to the outer edges and try to jump dodge the tentacles. If there's only one tentacle facing you, I definitely recommend doing that. Though I talk about breaking the tiles, the less tentacles that are out, the better, so avoid breaking the tiles if you're able to. A strat I don't see people utilize is jump diving over a tile. With this, you can jump dive over a pattern tile and avoid hitting it entirely. This is very useful all around. Here are a few ways you can tell when a section is about to flip. The tentacles all go down, the Kraken grabs onto a handle or multiple handles, you feel the tiles underneath you rumble, and you hear the Kraken laugh. The best way to tell when a zone is about to flip depends on where you are. If you're on a zone that is about to move, the tentacles will go down, then the Kraken grabs onto the handle. However, near endgame, multiple zones can flip, so looking at the handles is helpful because you can tell from a distance that a section is about to rotate. It really depends on where you are and how long the game has been going on for. See what you will about grabbing, I believe that once you learn to accept it and not neglect it, that's when you'll start winning games on a consistent basis. If you see someone approach you and you're near an edge, spin around and go behind them, then push them off. Another thing you can do is jump over their head and then push them from behind. Since they're running full steam, you'll be able to push them off with ease. Well, most of the time anyways. Never be afraid of grabbing someone the instant you see them get on your tile. If you're on a tile with somebody and want to avoid grabbing them for whatever reason, try jumping around in one place. It's quite hard to kill you since you're moving around constantly and usually when the zone rumbles, they'll just scurry away. If someone emotes to you, it usually means they're friendly and they won't grab you. Well, it used to mean that anyways, but nowadays, it's something people do to get you to drop your guard. If people do this, be very careful and assume they're going to grab you when the time comes. Do not trust them. Just remember to stand your ground and never try to escape at the first sign of a grabber, because they could grab you as you're escaping and you'll die. There are times where you'll need to let go and reposition yourself, so don't be afraid of doing that when need be. At times, you gotta assert your dominance and let people know what's up. This is my last video for 2022 and I was at 700 subs at the start of the year and now I'm closing at 17,000. Thank you for making 2022 the best year of my life. And thank you to our Max Tour members Dash2700, Jump and Runnin', Shinobu Kocho, Chip, and BestBS06.